everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my sixth update for my Pandas eyeshadow palette series. We've got a pretty exciting update today, so I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into it. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I will have the playlist linked down below, um, so I recommend watching those first. This is a hybrid project between Pan Those Eyeshadows and Pan That Palette um, that I decided to do at the start of this year to work through um, three palettes at a time. So if you haven't seen the previous videos, they kind of explain more in depth what, um, what all I'm doing, but I just want to go ahead and get into this one today because we got a lot to get through. I will go ahead and put up a video of the quintet that I had last month. My shades last month were Chocolate from the Pro Matte Palette, Cool Gray from the Pro 2 Palette, Charcoal from the Pro 2 Palette, and Rosé from the Pro 2 Palette and then Cypress Umber from my Soft Glam palette. I did have a carryover of Rustic from the Soft Glam palette as well last month um, because I was just a couple of days away from hitting pan on it and I wanted to go ahead and work on other shades. So that is in there too. And that's why I have six shades on my hand rather than just the five. Um, but this month um, we're gonna be back to just the five shades. Um, so. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. The first palette we're gonna be talking about is my Lorac Pro Matte Palette. Um, so I will go ahead and put up a picture of what it looked like last month. And this is what we are looking like this month. Um, now, like I said, chocolate is the shade in my quintet. So this is what I've been working on. Um, I have not touched corduroy or burgundy in quite some time. So I'm not gonna really touch on them right now. Um, but, but yeah, I think you can see a pretty reasonable dis difference in chocolate from this month to last month. Um, I did end up losing a tiny bit of product, product um, because it kind of chunked away when I was dipping my brush in. So I did lose a little bit of product that I that wasn't just like straight used up. But I have been flattening this out a bit so it doesn't look completely different from last time. Um, it's just, it's getting a little flatter because it was pretty still, it was still pretty full on this side. So this shade is getting some good use on it. Um, I did use this 25 times last month. I use it exclusively in my brows right now. Um, and so it is a total of 112 uses within the project. Um, it is getting kind of patchy in the formula. So that's part of the reason I've just started using it in my brows. This is an older palette. Um, and so the formula has changed a little bit, but I'm almost done with it. I did declutter jet black last month. Um, so if you saw that video, you saw me go ahead and just remove that completely from the palette because it wasn't working well and it gave me a lot of fallout. So I just decided I don't need it. I have a bunch of other black shades in my collection. That one's not necessary. Um, so yeah, I went ahead and got rid of that one. Um, so that's why that looks so different. And then I did actually finish all four of these shades um, earlier in the project. So I'm down to just three shades. I think this one won't take me too much longer um, to get through. However, I have decided to roll this out of the quintet. Like I'm, I'm still using it within the project because the project is kind of just use up the whole palettes. But I've decided that since I'm just gonna be using this in my brows and it's going to take a long time to get through, I'm, I'm thinking another two months probably, um, I, I figure I may as well roll it out of the project because you're gonna see product, like you're gonna see progress on it, whether I have it in my quintet or not. Um, so I'd like to go ahead and get working on one of these two shades. So we will roll one of those in today um, and this one will no longer be in the quintet. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this palette. It's it's pretty straightforward. I have used corduroy eight times within the project, um, but I haven't touched burgundy at all. So we will get some uh, get one of those shades and get some real usage on them in the next month, um, which I'm pretty excited about. I'm ready to to move on and um, see some movement on these because I think that if I can focus in. I might be able to get this palette completely finished sometime soon. Fingers crossed, um, maybe. But yeah, I would. I really like to get this done before the end of the year, um, rather than just making it last up to the end of the year. So I really want to get moving on these two, and so I figure may as well go ahead and I'm going to use chocolate in my brows anyways. May as well just move it to the side for now and put one of these two in my quintet. 
So we will roll that shade in here in a little bit, um, but we'll go ahead and move on to the progress in my Pro 2 palette. All right, so I'll put up the picture of what my Pro 2 palette was looking like last month. And here is what it's looking like this month. Um, now you can see some very uh, big changes in this palette, and um, we're, we're gonna we're gonna talk about that for a minute. Um, but first, I'm just gonna let you know. So the shades in my quintet were cool gray, charcoal, and rose. So we're gonna talk about the usage, and then we're gonna explain what's what's going on here. Um, I used cool gray 23 times last month, which was a total of 133 uses. Um, I used charcoal only three times last month, which was a total of 21 uses. And then rosé, I just rolled in last month, um, but I had used a lot within the project before. So I used it a total of 25 times last month, but I did have a total of 68 uses on it throughout this whole project. So yes, <laughs> let's, let's talk here for a moment. Um, you can see that I did some serious changes to this. I did not declutter any of these shades. I actually made a Franken shadow with them. So I took cool gray, charcoal, chrome, and silver, and then I took a little bit of plum and I made a Franken shadow out of it. So this is still, I just did this this morning. So this is probably still a little wet. Um, so it's probably not the most accurate representation of what it will look like, but um, this is, the shadow that I created. It's very full. Um, so it's a lot of shadow. It's a lot of product. Um, but yeah, I just decided that those shades are all not my favorite shades to use as individuals. However, I really love like a taupey purple shadow. And I was thinking, um, so actually, okay, so this one is not, but I used to have a MAC shadow um, satin taupe and I loved that one. And I thought these shades might give me a similar vibe to that. So I wanted to go ahead and try that. I don't know if I've succeeded in creating that shade or anything similar to that shade, but I just decided to go for it and give it a shot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on this now in place of cool gray. So this is my Franken shadow of the Pro 2 palette. My goal is to use it up, theoretically. We're gonna see what it looks like as I go, but this is a new shade from this palette that has four shadows that were not full. None of them were full. So, you know, it's got four of the shadows in here. So I did not finish any of these shadows, I did just create a new shadow out of them. So this will be taking the place of cool gray. And then moving forward, I will just roll a new shade in um, charcoal's place. So I do have this one now. Um, so the palette is very different looking, um, but I am still working on all those shades. So last month I was thinking of decluttering cool gray and charcoal because they just weren't performing the way I wanted them to and so I wasn't really excited about using them but I just decided you know what I really wanted to try to find some fun way to use them up and so mixing them together with silver and chrome and then a little bit of plum it just I don't know it just was kind of exciting to me it made me more excited about using them and I just felt like I would probably actually use them more if I was using them in one shadow rather than having to dip into all of them. So we're gonna give that a shot. I think it's gonna work well for me. We'll see. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm looking forward to getting use out of them that way. Um, so as far as that goes, you know, cool gray and charcoal are now part of another shadow. So I will have Franken, the Franken shadow as my cool gray in my cool gray slot. And then for charcoal, I will roll in another shade from this palette. Um, I do wanna keep three of these shades in at a time right now, just because I wanna really focus in on this. And then for rose, you can actually see there is a lot of progress on rose. Honestly, I think I may be a week or two off of finishing up rosé. I really don't think it's going to take me very long. It's getting actually a little difficult to get product out of there just with like my brush the way it is. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about the progress on rosé. I feel like I'm going to get that one finished up pretty soon. Uh, this palette is, you know, it looks like it's almost gone. Um, but obviously I still have this 
whole shadow, which this is a lot of product. But yeah, it just, it gives me a chance to kind of work on some of these shades over here. So we're gonna, we're gonna roll one more shade in um, later on. And I'm really excited to see which one I get and get some more usage on them. Now, real fast, I did use Mocha a decent bit this last month. I don't think you can see a ton of usage on it, but it's done a lot of like flattening around the pan. It hasn't really expanded the pan a whole ton, but it has done some um, flattening around it, which is good. Um, so I think you can, if you look closely, I think you can see a difference in the in the pans. But I did use that one uh, several times. I don't remember how many times exactly, but my total usage on it now is 19. Um, and then I did dip into Jade once as well. So that puts that at three uses. Um, but yeah, so then I haven't used, I didn't use Coco last time. And then I haven't used any of these three yet. So that's where we're at. It's very different, obviously. Um, I just kind of feel like we're halfway through the year now and I just really wanted to do something a little bit, I don't know, a little bit crazy. I was just feeling kind of crazy and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna create a new shade. I'm gonna use these things in a different way. I'm gonna get creative. And so, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. We will, I will be posting, you know, these updates together because technically I'm considering this as part of this palette, even though it's not attached. Um, so yeah, I will keep you updated on these one shade here. I'll roll another shade in and then we're going to work on Rose as well. I think I can get that finished next month. I feel like I'm a little all over the place, so I hope I'm making sense. It's just a lot to, I guess, get through. Um, I've, I've done a lot of changes, so I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm kind of revamping this project unintentionally. It almost feels like a, a half of the way through refresh um, for me. So yeah, um, I don't know, I feel a little bit like I'm all over the place, so I really do hope I'm making sense. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. Um, the next palette is my Soft Glam palette. So last month, um, I was working on Rustic and Cypress Umber. Um, Rustic, I was just a few days away from hitting pan, so I wanted to go ahead and roll in Cypress Umber just to get that one going. So I will go ahead and put up the picture of what it looked like last month. And here is what we are looking like this month. This is quite an achievement, I feel. I am so, ex so excited. Just so, so excited. Um, so I've panned this whole palette in six months. Wow, 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 wow. Um, so yeah, okay. <sighs> That's the obvious. Just obvious hit, hit pan in every shade. So let's get our statistics together real fast. So with Rustic last month, I was um, just a few days away from hitting pan, like I said. I, I thought I tracked it well um, where I knew exactly how many times I used it last month to this month, but for some reason, my numbers don't seem to correlate correctly. Um, so I can't remember exactly how many more times it took me to hit pan. I think it only took me like four or five more uses, and then I did hit pan. Um, so that was at 35 uses total, which is kind of funny because that means that it took me the longest to hit pan on Rustic. Um, it took me 35 uses to hit pan on Rustic. It took me 33 to hit pan on Glistening, um, which is kind of funny to me. I don't really know why it took uh, longer to hit pan on Rustic than it did on Glistening um, when all my other matte shades, it was right around the 25 mark that I hit pan on them. But I, I mean, I had used some of these shades less than Rustic and I still hit pan on them faster. So I don't really know what the deal is with that. I don't know why that happened. Um, but I used a total of 37 times, um, a couple of extra times to get the pan a little bit bigger. And uh, yeah, so that's really exciting. And then Cypress Umber, I did use 25 times last month for a total of 26 uses in the project. Um, and I did hit pan yesterday, actually. So on the 24th use, um, today was the 25th use. So pan in the entire palette in six months, absolutely crazy. I had not used this 
that much um, in the past, but like before I rolled it in, I didn't have a single pan in here. It was very new and I, yeah, I hadn't, I hadn't really had very many dips or anything going on. So yeah, I was kind of, uh, I was kind of surprised at how quickly I was able to hit pan on everything. Obviously Noir doesn't have that deep of a pan. Um, I feel like blacks are such a hard one to like actually get a lot of usage on, but I did, I did manage to hit a little bit of pan down in the in the corner um but all in all i'm really happy with the size of the pans in here i feel like everything looks like it's like they're not just like minuscule like dots except for noir really um and yeah i'm very happy with that it's uh, i mean that was my goal was to hit pan in every shade um so palette complete which is wow <laughs> crazy i did not anticipate having a palette done this quickly. Not only are we rolling Cypress Umber out, we are rolling this palette out. But before I do that, I do wanna just give you quick numbers so that you can kinda of know how much I used these over the amount of the project. So I will go ahead and put up a picture of where we're at, um, where the palette was to where the palette is now, and then I'm gonna just run through the total uses of this entire palette shade by shade. So with Tempura, I used that shade 16 times and I hit pan on it on the 12th use. With Glistening, I used it a total of 35 times and I hit pan on it on the 33rd use. With Orange Soda, I used that one a total of 27 times and I hit pan on that one on the 24th use. With Rose Pink, I used that one a total of five times and I hit pan on that one on the fourth use. With Sultry, I used that one a total of 17 times and I hit pan on that on the 15th use. With Bronze, I used it a total of 16 times and I hit pan on it on the 15th use. With Mulberry, I used it a total of 20 times and I hit pan on that on the 19th use. With Dusty Rose, I used it a total of 12 times and I hit pan on it on the 11th use. For Fairy, I used it a total of 24 times um, and I hit pan on that one on the 23rd use. With Burnt Orange, I used that a total of 22 times and I hit pan on that on the 19th use. For Sienna, I used that one a total of 28 times and hit pan on it on the 27th use. With Rustic, I used it a total of 37 times and hit pan on it on the 35th use. With Cypress Umber, I used it a total of 26 times and hit pan on it on the 25th use. And for Noir, I used it a total of 26 times and hit pan on that on the 23rd use. So that is how long it took me to hit pan on everything. Like I said, some of them had a little bit more usage than others, but for the most part, um, the shades had not been touched that much. I would average about 30 to 40 uses total on each shade in this palette. Um, maybe a little bit more for a few of the, like the ones that took me a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, this palette, I just kind of, I, I feel like a lot of people try to pan this palette. If you have this palette and you wanna pan it, just kind of expect um, from beginning to pan uh, around, I would say 50 to 60, um, 50 to 60 uses per shade just to be on the safe side. If you've got some good usage on it, it's gonna be way faster than that. I really enjoyed using this palette. I really liked the looks that I got with it. I'm very happy with it. I'm I'm really glad that I got to spend a solid six months really loving on it. Um, I am going to be putting this back into my collection and I know that sounds kind of silly um, to be like, oh, well, I've just spent a bunch of time on this and I'm gonna put it away for a while. But that's kind of, I'm finding that having as many palettes as I do, I'm never gonna get use on them unless I do it this way, um, where I kind of like focus in. Otherwise, they're just gonna sit in the drawer and I'm gonna end up letting them sit there anyways because I'm gonna probably pick one palette out at a time and they're really not gonna get that much love. Um, so I, I'm really enjoying doing this because it is actually making me use the palette to its fullest potential, I feel. Um, and if that means it has to sit in the drawer for a little while after I've used it or before I use it, that's okay, it was sitting in the drawer anyways. <laughs> um, so I feel like I got a lot of really good use out of this. If you total up all that usage, I did use this 311 times between all the shades. 
So I feel like that's pretty, that's pretty good. I mean, that's really exciting to me to like know I've gotten my money's worth out of this. Even if I never touched it again, I felt like I got a really good amount of usage on this. I am gonna use this again. I really love this palette. I think it's great. I definitely recommend it. If you want something like this and you don't have it in your collection, it's a good palette. It's very good. I really like it. Um, and it's kind of a staple. So, I mean, it's it's one that I feel easy easy to recommend this guy. So Soft Glam is officially moving out of this project. Okay, so that brings us into the next part of this video, um, the rolling in portion. So I will be rolling in a new shade for the Pro Matte palette, a new shade for the Pro 2 palette, and a brand new palette to this project. All right, so on my spreadsheet, Corduroy and Burgundy are numbers one and two, but I have to do, I film on my phone, so I have to do my randomization on the computer and Google's random number generator doesn't show between two numbers very well, like the generation. So we're gonna do a coin flip. So heads will be corduroy and burgundy will be tails. All right, so we got our coin flip. Again, heads is corduroy, tails is burgundy. We're gonna be working on corduroy. All right, so obviously I already had a little bit of product, uh, progress on corduroy um, with the pan. I did use it eight times in this project earlier in the year, um, but I have always liked that shade. Um, it's kind of it's kind of an interesting one. It's got a little bit of a a yellowy undertone. Um, it's very it's it's different. I, I do like it a lot. Um, it is, again, the formula in this has changed a little bit. So we're going to see how it uh, performs, but I'm hopeful to get some really good use on that one this next month. Um, but yeah, so corduroy is now part of the quintet. All right. And then we will roll one of these shades in. Just as a reminder, I won't be rolling in the black shade because I don't roll blacks or beiges in to the project. Um, so we've got the option of plum, navy, mocha, jade, and cocoa. And those are numbers three through seven. So we've got three through seven, and we will go ahead and generate a number. Three. Oh boy. All right, so plum it is. We're gonna be working on plum this time, um, which is, whew, it's a little daunting to me. Um, I don't really use a lot of color. Honestly, these two are the ones that I've been the most nervous about. Um, I'm okay with it being in because I do need to use it up. I'm gonna have to get creative with how I use it just because I'm not much of a color person. Um, I, I, like, I like very neutral looks. This is what I feel most comfortable in. But we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna see. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna test some different ways to use this. So give me your ideas if you have any good ideas of how to like make it more wearable for every day. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this one along with the other shades. All right, and so now we're gonna talk real fast about the palette that I am rolling into this project, and then we will roll one shade in from this palette. So part of the way I'm going about this project is I'm wanting to work on three palettes at a time two of which are older into my, in my collection so that I'm working on getting those used up and out, but also one palette that is newer to my collection so that I'm not just neglecting the new ones. Um, I'm actually getting some good use on those shades as well. So on my spreadsheet, um, Soft Glam is not my newest palette, but it is one of my newest palettes. Um, so I decided I wanted to replace that with another palette that is even newer to my collection. So I decided to go with my Marc Jacobs Glambition palette. I really like this palette. I've always really liked this palette. Um, but one of the reasons that I wanted to go ahead and get this one into the project is just because it does have an expiration date of one year. And while with powder products, especially, I don't typically use, um, I don't typically follow the expiration date to the letter just because I feel like, you know what, it's a powder, it's not a cream. Cream products, I do like to be pretty uh, pretty strict with just to be on the safe side. But with powder products, I feel more comfortable testing that boundary a little bit um, because I feel like it's easy to see, oh, hey, this has changed, this is off, this is not working. But with that being said, I do wanna go ahead and get some really good use on this one um, and try actually to empty this one. However, I'm gonna go about it where 
uh, most of these shades don't have pan in them. So I want to hit pan first and then try to use them up because I think it's going to take a while. These shades are kind of hard pressed, so it's a little more diff difficult. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what the palette is looking like right now. So I hope the mirror doesn't blind you. It's kind of hard to show this. Um, but this is what the palette looks like right now. I do technically have um, pan on, on known for. It is really difficult to see because I typically foil this shade um, just to make it a little easier to use. Uh, I don't, you don't really have to, but I, I do just because it's, I like it. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so known for um, does technically have pan. It just looks like it's, it's not, it's not there right now. Um, but I did hit pan on it a while ago and um, then the rest of them do not have pan. However, there is one change we're gonna to make to this palette. Um, as you might be able to see, this shade over here, um, Glamour, it's crumbly. It's so crumbly, in fact, that it has crumbled out of this pan multiple times. And it has left a situation where you will get black on you whenever you touch this palette. So. I'm going to remove Glamour from this palette and throw it in the trash, which is kind of sad to me because I like that it has a shimmer running through it, but I just, I get so annoyed <laughs> with how it crumbles out of this palette. Um, so yeah, I decided I want, that's another reason I kind of want to use this palette. I want to get that out of here and I would like to get use on this palette because it's only, it's only six shades after I get rid of Glamour. So I feel like I can kind of kind of get fast use on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove Glamour and then we will select a shade. All right, so it is removed. Um, just a quick note, I did consider repressing it um, and trying to use it a different way, but I, again, like the one in the Pro Matte palette, I have other black shades. I didn't need this one. And I felt kind of like, you know what? If it crumbled so easily when it was pressed professionally, I don't trust myself to press it any better than that. So I'm just gonna get it out of my collection. I don't need it, it's not that big a deal. I have a bunch of other black shades. If I really want a sparkly black shade, I can create my own with some of the shades that I already have. So I, I don't mind just getting rid of it. Um, I'm gonna get use out of the rest of this palette. So since I already have pan on known for, and I want to go ahead and hit pan on all these shades prior to trying to empty any of them out, um, I'm going to not roll that one in so that I can get to pan on the other ones first. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna roll one of these shades in. It is going this way on my spreadsheet. So it's uh, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 um, for how I can roll them in, um, just skipping known for, of course. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put that into the randomizer and we're gonna pick a shade. All right, so we got eight through 12. And number nine. Okay, so the shade we ended up getting is Infamous, which is very nice in my opinion because it is like probably the easiest shade to hit pan in out of here um with the possible exception for uh seeking i think yeah this one is seeking so yeah these two are probably going to be the easiest shades to hit pan on because they're the kind of shades that you can use pretty much every single day um so yeah that's really exciting to me i'm going to be using infamous i'll go ahead and swatch this with the other shades and we will, sh I'll show you my, um, I'll show you my quintet for the month of July and we'll talk about my goals. All right. So here is what my quintet looks like for the month of July. I am kind of excited about this. This is a very interesting, um, quintet to me. It's got some very good variety, um, some nice neutrals, but also the option for something a little bit more grungy. Um, so yeah, so this is Corduroy from the Pro Matte Palette. This one is the Franken Shadow from my Pro 2, uh, Plum from Pro 2, Rosé from Pro 2, and then Infamous from Glambition. I like that there are two shimmers in here. I like that it's neutral. Very exciting to me. Um, so as far as goals, what I can do, let's see, I think, looking at the palettes in front of me here, I think with Corduroy, I can probably do, obviously we don't know totally because I don't know how this one's gonna perform. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be as powdery as some of the other ones or if it's gonna be a little harder pressed. Um, so I'm gonna say I want to hit 
side pan on that one. I do think, yeah, I think I'm gonna try to go down this way and hit side pan on that. Um, yeah, so I think I, I'll just kind of have to see how that shade performs as compared to the other ones to see how long I think it'll take me, but I'm just gonna try to get some good usage on that one, see where see where I go on that. As far as the Pro 2 palette goes um, with my single, um, I don't know. Again, this one is a lot of product, so I have no idea how well I'm gonna do on this. I'm just gonna try to use it regularly. Um, Plum, I, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do with that one either just because it is a brighter color, but I feel like I'll probably be able to layer this on top of that and it'll probably do pretty well. Um, so I might try to do that. I might try, I did use a decent amount up, so I might try to, I don't know. I just kinda wanna see this pan expand on that. I think I can use Rose up. And then as far as the rest of the palette goes, I just would like to see a little bit more usage on Mocha and maybe these two shades down here for now. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my goals is just to get some good use on this one, um, get some good use on that guy, and then get that one used up. And then for the Glambition palette, um, I just want to use uh, Infamous as much as I can. Maybe Hit Pan, I don't know. I do know that these shades are they're deep and they're hard pressed. So I don't know how long it's gonna take me. I think it's gonna be a lot of uses. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to get it done in one month, but um, because this is basically my neutral palette now, um, I will probably be dipping into this for a lot of different things. Yeah, I have a feeling that this is gonna balance out a lot of my looks um, as I need them and stuff. I think I'm gonna try to use this as my um, inner corner highlight and see if I can get some good use on that one too. Um, I do have that as being able to be rolled in right now because it's not really a setting shade for me. It's actually like a, a shimmer shade for me because it's it's got so much shimmer in it that it doesn't do well as a base. So I do have that as a potential to roll in eventually, but I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm gonna try to use it some this next month and see if that's something that makes sense to try to roll in eventually, or if I should just kind of treat it like my other beige shades and say, I'll, I'll just roll it in when I roll it in. But yeah, I'd like to see how far, I definitely wanna increase the dip in this one, of course, um, but I'd like to try to hit pan on it. If, if I can get pan on it in a month, that would be awesome. I don't know that that's gonna be possible though. All right, so that's it. Um, that is my new palette. Uh, and again, it feels kind of like a bit of a refresh this month. I feel, I feel kind of like, again, I kind of feel like I'm a little all over the place because there's so much changing. Um, I, I, you know, I rolled out some shades. I created a new shade. I've got a new palette in here. Uh, yeah, I've just really been enjoying this project. It's really working for me. I love seeing the progress on these palettes, seeing them change from month to month. It's very exciting for me. Um, so yeah, again, if you have any suggestions for looks that I could do, especially with the purple, um, let me know. Uh, let me know down below. And uh, yeah, if you liked this video, feel free to give it a like. If you'd like to see the rest of these videos, subscribe if you'd like. And I will have my looks from the month. I can't remember how many photos I took this last month. I did I did a very similar look to this pretty much every single day. So um, <laughs> I didn't take a ton, uh, I don't believe. So I have the palette comparisons from month to month um, that will be up on the screen as well as my looks from the previous month um, at the end of this video. So if you'd like to see those, feel free to stick around and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Bye.